Mistral 3 is the strongest open source AI stack ever released, a full spectrum push for sovereignty, edge intelligence and enterprise grade reliability and a distributed AI future. In France, we're trying to pick the areas where we think it's important to do our own. Mm -hmm. uh, we're super proud of Mistral. You just heard that right. That was France special envoy for AI, Annie Buverod, super proud of what Mistral has built in a short span of time. Just one line, but now it hits different. Because weeks after that interview, France's Mistral AI dropped the biggest open source AI release of the year. And tonight on Front Page, we break down how the Mistral 3 is not just a model launch, but a strategic play for sovereignty, compute independence, and global AI power realignment. Like, share, and subscribe. Of course, this one is super important. So, Mistral AI has unveiled Mistral 3. It's a complete suite of 10 open multi model AI models. It spans the Mistral Large 3, which is the Frontier class mixture of experts model. Then, of course, you have the other models in the family or the 14 billion parameter, 8 billion, and 3 billion small AI models. And all of them are under the Apache 2.0, fully unrestricted for commercial use. So the flagship Mr. Large 3 is a 675 billion parameter sparse mixture of experts model with 41 billion active parameters. And it's trained on 3000 NVIDIA H200 GPUs. And it offers a 256,000 context window, text plus image multimodality, and benchmark parity with top open frontier models. And of course, you have industry-leading consistency outside of English and Chinese. And unlike most open models with like weird licensing, Mistral's is actually open. In all terms, legally, technically, operationally, and it changes how enterprises, governments, and sovereign AI missions think about model deployment. So while big tech companies are chasing agentic frontier models, Mistral is playing a different long game. So it's focusing on sovereignty over scale, and you know, you have countries like India, France, Brazil, UAE, and South Korea need models that they can own and not rent from Silicon Valley. So Mistral supplies exactly that. And Large 3 is trained heavily on non-English languages, not as an afterthought of sorts, but as a core design choice. So this is a direct contrast to US and China centric models. And open plus multimodal plus mixture of experts seems to be the new global baseline because most open source software models had to choose, you know, to be open or be frontier or be multimodal. But Mistral 3 does all of the three. It has edge first thinking. And you know, because the smaller Mistral 3 models run on laptops, your robotic boards, drones, cars, and of course, any of the offline environments you can think of. And this aligns perfectly with Annie Buverot's emphasis on tiny, efficient models focusing on energy reduction and privacy-first computing. Essentially, this is also a full-stack hardware co-optimization with NVIDIA. It features 10 times faster inference on the Blackwell GP200 NVLink 72 system, wide expert parallelism, and a Blackwell architecture optimized mixture of experts kernels. And of course, you have the NVFP4 precision quantization and the disaggregated inference via the NVIDIA Dynamo framework. You also get speculative decoding support and VLLM and TensorRT LLM integrations. What does all of this mean? It just means cheaper inference, higher throughput, lower latency, long context stability, and frontier performance on both data centers and edge devices. Look, Europe has never had a frontier class models with this level of hardware backing. So this is where the geopolitical implications begin. Because take a look at the cloud triangle. You have AWS, Azure, everywhere. And if you talk about Amazon Bedrock, it becomes the first platform to ship the entire Mistral family, large three plus all of the Mistral models. And of course, Azure Foundry positions Mistral 3 as the open sovereign alternative for enterprise co-pilots, rack systems, and agents. Then you have platforms like Hugging Face and Open Router make it globally accessible within hours. Folks, this is a sign that the cloud giants are hedging against a closed model future. Because they want customer choice, loan inference costs, compliance for regulated industries, sovereign cloud deployments, and all of this is why Mistral 3 is being deeply integrated into Foundry's governance, observability, and evaluation pipelines. Because enterprises who hesitated with GPT or Google's Gemini now have an answer, they have an option because Mistral's core argument is quite simple. 
that enterprises don't need the biggest model, they need the most customizable one. Guillaume Lampley says that 90% of enterprise workloads run better on fine-tuned smaller models. But why? Because you get lower latency, predictable cost, on-premise possible and it data doesn't leave the environment. Besides, small models also outperform when fine-tuned for specific tasks. This puts pressure on the scale-first philosophy of companies like OpenAI, Anthropic and Google, forcing them to rethink how much frontier do enterprises actually need. And this is why Mistral 3 is a full-stack enterprise platform and not just an isolated model launch. Because you get the Mistral Agents API, you got the LeechAt application with deep research mode, and you have their own AI studio, and of course you have the domain-specific reasoning model which is the Magistral. Not to forget the code assistant powered by Mistral's own models and you have the MCP connectors for enterprise integrations. So they're building the European version of data plus models plus agents and the tool stack. And of course, back to Annie Bivarot's interview. She highlights that the France-India alignment is focusing on sovereign compute, sovereign models, public good AI and energy efficient AI infrastructure. She also stresses why nations must create and not just consume AI systems, and Mistral 3 embodies that philosophy. It gives countries the option to build their own AI future without being locked into US or Chinese platforms. And with Emmanuel Macron visiting India for the AI Impact Summit in 2026, this collaboration becomes a defining moment for Europe's digital sovereignty and India's AI mission, and of course, the entire global open source leadership. So the rise of small, efficient, and sovereign models and the timing of Mistral 3 launch is no accident. We are eagerly waiting for India's Mistral moment as well because when Sarvam, Bharat Jain release their foundation and models, by the end of this month or early next year, hopefully they should be able to surpass China's deep seek or Europe's Mistral models. And when that happens, of course, you'll be hearing it first on front page. So yes, Mistral 3 is the strongest open source AI stack ever released, a full spectrum push for sovereignty, edge intelligence and enterprise grade reliability and a distributed AI future. I repeat, you get 675 billion parameter large mixture of experts model to tiny 3 billion edge device models, which gives you 10 times speed ups on Nvidia's Blackwell and cloud support from Bedrock, Azure and on edge devices from day one. This is Europe's fiercest move yet in the global AI race. So everybody, tell us in the comments, would you trust open source models for your enterprise or which Ministral 3 model would you try first? And another question, does the world need more frontier models or better distributed models? This is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember to think AI, think AIM.